see him along with the top 12 guys Tuesday night and then the women take the stage Wednesday. Then you've got eliminations on Thursday. Right. So three nights of Idol. Wow. <laughs> Idol crazy. You guys watch Glee? Glee? Yeah, a little bit. A little Glee? Trying to get into it. I'm trying to get into it, too. I'm I, trying to uh, follow it. I work with a lot of people that love Glee. It's a good show. It's a, you have to kind of be into the musical format. I have a, singing and dancing. I have yeah. a theory on this, the, the sales of Glee, though. Please share. I'll get to it in a moment. Well, oh. the cast of Glee has already passed Elvis, having the most songs ever on the Billboard Hot 100. 108, to be exact. And if wow. you watched Glee last week, you learn that they're going to do some original songs. So we're hearing two of those songs for the first time. Here's the first one. It's called Loser Like Me, which debuted with uh, Ryan Seacrest on his show. <laughs> <laughs> I think these songs sell so well on iTunes. Because anytime you're you're doing a, a rendition of Teenage Dream or Journey, Don't Stop Believing, those are those are beloved songs, or right? All the Britney songs. All the Britney yeah. stuff. Madonna. So I think people hear them and they want the Glee version. You know, now they're in the same category as every new artist out there, which is can your original song sell? And yeah. we'll see. Hmm. And it, it seems to me when you first hear a song, isn't it rare that you love it the first time? Sure, it takes a couple of listens. Yeah, so we'll see if that happens with the Glee family. If you keep listening and listening, if you eventually like it. It took you a few listens on the Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Yeah. I normally like her right off the bat, though. But this one, I kind of was like, eh. The, the Glee uh, singers, they're talented, no doubt about it. But I think you're right. I like to hear a cover song. It's an easy love. Mm -hmm. Our Fox 2 Facebook page has been buzzing big time about this one. Should a possible employer... We can't <laughs> stop eating the nachos, let's be honest. Uh, bad Brad's Barbecue in New Baltimore. Oh. These nachos are... This one has pickled onion on it. It's delicious. It was ranch. You can't even talk. <laughs> this one's got bacon I, and ranch. I want to say I'm speechless, but we just can't stop eating the nachos. I know. They're, yeah, and that wedge salad. I just can't reach the wedge salad, and so I'm waiting. It's just out of your it. grasp. I know, it is, which is probably good. All right, uh, should someone that's hiring you be allowed to access your Facebook account? On our Facebook page, what do you think? And overwhelmingly, everybody says no. Go away, Jose. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, no, it's an invasion of privacy. Now, one um, woman here says, depend on the job, if it's a security job where they need a deeper background check, then maybe. I like Michelle yeah. Barnes, who writes, you give me all your passwords, and I'll think about giving you mine. It's a two-way street. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah, so, um, but it is important to remember that when we're on, and I try and tell the kids, not that my kids aren't on Facebook yet, but anytime you're writing anything on these social, from Twitter to Facebook or anything, it's not private. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out, Meg wrote, I don't have a Facebook account, but she wrote it on Facebook. Oh, I don't understand how that one was. Yeah. <laughs> how did you do that? Long I don't know how Meg did that. Chrissy says it's uh, no, no one's business. So there you go. Yeah. yeah. So everyone pretty much agrees. It's nobody's business. All right. Well, we are going to wrap things up. Are you going to watch the Oscars tonight? I will watch the Oscars tonight. With moderate interest. With moderate yeah. interest. You know what I do? I, I Tebo, and then I join it an hour late. Yeah. Yeah. And then I... Yep. Go through the commercials. It's the best way. What about all that red carpet stuff? Do we care about that? What are I, you wearing? Who are you wearing? Who designed your purse? Your shoes? Not, I don't no, know. Not so much. I, yeah. no. wah, I like wah. to see some of the dresses. <laughs> I buy the tabloid and then go hey, through it. You get stressed and wear stressed. Get the recap. You do your own right in the yes. grocery store. Yeah. All right, so weather-wise today, I love that we're getting up in the high 30s. And I know you're not crazy about rain, but I, I would much rather have rain than snow. Okay. No? <laughs> I, I think the snow is beautiful, but... I understand what uh, you're saying. I think you can go out there. <laughs> That's funny of it. Go ahead. Enjoy it. Uh, yeah, wet and slushy out there, foggy, misty. 38 will be our high. We're going to ride back up. <laughs> Get that. You know, the 40s and then the 20s. And yeah. That's what I don't like. Yeah, because then that's when a lot of people get sick, too. Get sick, you get potholes, all kinds of yeah. things. Yeah. Like, nice, consistent. I like to not have the jacket, Dina. I yeah. like to have the jacket. I, 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 yeah. I have no jacket. All right. I don't like the winter coat. <laughs> well, winter officially comes to an end, what, mid-March, Jessica? March, I think it's March 20th this year. I'd have to double. Uh, 20th or 21st. Okay. The, the spring uh, solstice. We'll be yep. talking about opening day in no time. Yeah. All right. That's exciting. All right. Um, okay. We do want to say congratulations once again to Jason Carr and Taryn Asher, who are now parents. Boy, big weekend for them. Their baby girl born yesterday morning, around 9.30 in the morning. Gianna Rose Carr is her name, and they're going to call her Gia for short. And mom and baby are doing fine, and uh, they promise they'll get a picture on the Facebook page as soon as they can.
Have a good weekend, everybody. Fox News Sunday.